Mr. Guenka, as an entrepreneur, what are the key aspects, key capabilities that an ent successful entrepreneur brings to the table? You know, to my mind, uh, there are entrepreneurs and there are entrepreneurs. I think what you're asking about is what does a successful entrepreneur bring to the table? He brings a vision. He identifies a gap in a social behavioral pattern. For example, Henry Schultz saw society veering towards coffee and uh, he launched Starbucks when nobody in the world thought it's going to succeed. And he has created, he saw that gap, grabbed that opportunity, and he has created value out of it. So it was, it was instinct driven, but backed by data. And I think it's that instinct, it's that feel, it's that gut, which marks an entrepreneur as distinct from a normal manager. In tonight's session, you will also talk about the family business. In fact, RPG Enterprises is a family-owned business, if I'm correct. Um, for an entrepreneur, how is it different, or what are the specific aspects uh, in a family-based enterprise? You know, there are two or three things that are important. You can inherit a company, you can inherit shares, but you cannot inherit that spirit of entrepreneurship. You inherit a system, but you cannot be an entrepreneur because you're so-and-so's son or so-and-so's grandson. And that is why you see many businesses do not go beyond one or two generations, they change hands. Uh, point number one. The second thing I'd like to make uh, is that the expectations from a second generation entrepreneur are always more than that from a first generation entrepreneur because he has a legacy and people expect him or her to take off from where the, the previous generation left off. And what people forget is that the pre previous generation probably had 20 years or 30 years of success. And this new guy is actually starting off cold. He has a base, but he's starting afresh. And so the expectations are huge, and therefore he has to deliver that much more to derive a sense of uh, satisfaction or achievement. In the recent economic downturn, what kind of playing field has this presented for entrepreneurial activity? You know, every downturn is an opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity for uh, tightening of the belts. It's an opportunity for acquisitions. It's an opportunity for uh, for just seeing that where are gaps, because downturns mean there are many gaps. So the opportunities are more, and they come cheap. So what is your message to the students at this symposium? Believe in yourself, have a vision, and pursue it completely and sincerely. Mr. Guenka, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure, thank you.